Hi everyone, we're the Savvy Sea Slugs, and today we're presenting on stroke subtype mortality rates among Asian subgroups. Specifically, our research objective is to describe stroke mortality burden among Asian American groups by sex and characterize mortality trends across a 12 year period, specifically 2006 to 2017. Our stroke subtypes of interest are ischemic stroke, intracerebral hemorrhage, and subarachnoid hemorrhage. While ischemic stroke is much more common in the population, Hemorrhagic stroke is much more deadly, and thus we're interested in studying the different rates of these stroke subtypes within our subgroups of interest. In order to collect data on this, we got our data from the death certificate data from National Center for Health Statistics, or the mortality data set. We wanted to calculate age standardized mortality rates, so for that we need denominator data, and we got our population data from IPUM's American Community Survey. We then calculated AMRs based on three-year aggregates. Now let's take a look at some of our results. So in the middle column, we have the linear regression for the AMRs, and the graph on the right shows the proportion for the rates of the stroke subtypes. Overall, the ischemic deaths increased for all the groups, while the intracerebral and subarachnoid deaths reduced, except for the Vietnamese, which was interesting. In intracerebral, it showed that for the most part, while most races reduced, the Vietnamese male population actually increased. Then the same in the subarachnoid, except it was now both for female and male. Now taking a look at the proportion for the rates of the stroke subtypes, the proportion for the deadlier hemorrhagic strokes are actually higher amongst Asian than non-Hispanic whites. To conclude, the differences in the stroke mortality rates in different Asian subgroups may be due to the prevalence of the risk factors for stroke, like diabetes, hypertension, and cigarette status. To reduce the overall stroke mortality rate, we hope to control and reduce such risk factors. Yet, depending on an external data set, limitations are inevitable, such as the racial reporting bias and the diagnostic errors, as there may be missing records for different ethnicity groups, and we are only investigating stroke as the primary causes of death. It is prone to underestimations of the total cases. Also, we are not able to do the bivariate analysis of the stroke mortality and smoking status, as it is not found in our data set. To be more comprehensive, we will apply a similar framework to the Pacific Islander subgroup and individuals with mixed races as well. So that's the end of our poster presentation. Thank you.